Hey guys, so today I want to show a, uh, an introduction to using the short lasso hook to retain the guard. So this is a really good um, way to retain the guard for shorter players, I think, and, and also for people that are a little bit lankier as well. But um, this is not going to be the full lasso where we hook all the way behind the arm, it's just a short lasso where I bring it in front of the shoulder. So I'm going to show some ways that we can set this up. Um, so this is going let, to, let's start from like a typical open guard situation with a Bella Hiva hook. So I'm going to have my Bella Hiva hook and I'm going to be grabbing the same side sleeve and the far collar. So it's going to be same side collar here. Um, Terrence is going to start to push my foot down. This is pretty common. The foot that's on the hip gets pushed down. He steps over and he's, maybe for whatever reason I use this hook and he's able to get to a knee cut position. So this, the first thing that's going to come into play is this hand on the shoulder. That's going to keep him from being able to put too much pressure on me. My, um, my hook that was uh, my Delahiba hook, it's going to actually come in front of his shoulder. I'm going to keep his body away from me as much as I can. I'm going to extend my reverse Delahiba hook and just put this foot in front of the shoulder. So it's more of a block than really like a hook that I'm using as a, like a full lasso. I'm not doing this and bringing it around. Notice if I bring my foot all the way through, I have to turn my hips. That's going to make it really easy for Terrence to start to smash my hips down to the floor and pass exactly like this. So I'm going to keep it just in front using the sole of my foot on the shoulder. Now as he tries to put pressure in, it's much easier for me to block him here because I can push. I use my, my uh, I keep my grip here and I use my foot to push his uh, body weight off of me. So I just stay here. He can move around a little bit. It's pretty easy for me to retain my guard here. Now I'm going to use as much um, I'm going to use the leverage that I have in this position to push him away, create some space by his hips. So if he starts to point this knee down, I want to push him away to create this space and then switch my reverse belly heel hook to his hip yet again. So I'm switching this hook to the other side. Now I'm going to swing my hook, my lasso hook, all the way outside and square up with him. So I'm just resetting my belly heel position. So we can keep doing this. This is a really good warm up drill actually. He's going to push my foot down again. I put my reverse Delahiva hook in to stop him. Take a look over here if you guys are uh, having trouble with pushing your partner away. If I can't push my partner away enough because maybe I'm not flexible here. Maybe I try I'm trying to put my foot in, I just can't do it. He has his shoulder too low. I'm going to use my foot on the hip in conjunction with my reverse Delahiva hook. So I'm going to push him away. That'll give me a little bit more, more space then I can hopefully bring this foot in. And now I'm going to set my hook to the other hip, square up, and here we are back in the Delahiva position.